Hey guys, what's going on? So today I have an album review for Discord's Cranial Impelment. So yeah. Uh, back when we're playing Blasphemy's Fallen Angel of Doom, I actually recently got this in the mail a few days ago. Um, I'll talk about more of my next collection update, which I'll do when I have more shit in that's justifiable enough to do a collection update for. Um, this is a new Four Now reissue, though. And, um, we fucking love it. We have some more metal in my collection now. So, anyways. Um, so, Discord is Cranial Impelment. Uh, so, last CD from my previous collection update that I haven't reviewed yet. This is an amazing album. Um, probably, actually, in my opinion, definitely the second best Discord job behind She Way Gutted. I'll talk about that um, in a minute. Uh, but let's talk about the packaging and shit first. Um, so, really fucking awesome album cover. Really typical. It's just literally like a dude with like a blade just popping out of his forehead. At first, I thought it was like a little knife, but if you look really closely, that's just pieces of flesh. It's not a knife because you can see like the tip of the blade right there. Yeah, and then of course, I really like their logo. It's a really nice album cover. I really like just the layout with the clear jewel case. There's the cranial film right there. This looks really cool. There's the spine, edgy font, pretty cool. Really like the layout in general. Unique Leader is really good without their CDs. It's like that with my Deeds of Flash CDs as well. Turn this down some good. Um, there's the disc. I know there's a lot of different variants of like the color with this. There's also one that's like, um, it's like black and red or a black and white one or one where it's white and the logo's black. Just got the one that's just black. Um, that's behind the logo. Pretty cool. Um, on the back, there's the same thing as on the back of the CD case. Just got a picture of the band. Of course, they didn't have Diego Sanchez yet on this. Oh, they did have Matty Way though. And this is the best. This and Chili Gut are the best era of Discord, in my opinion. Um, also, the thank you listen this is pretty cool because you have so many great bands in here. There's Deeds of Flesh, Suffocation, and Gore Guts. Uh, I don't know who Sepsism is. <clears throat> I, fuck, I can't talk. I don't know who Sepsism is. Deprecate's pretty cool. I just don't know who Strangulation is. Dying Fetus, Dehumanize, Mihalo with Creation. Not sure who Ground Out is. And there's just a bunch of like, other people. I thought that was cool. There's a lot of just bands from that general era of, of Rule Death Metal. I really like that. It's like my favorite style of Rule Death Metal. Really, is like late '90s Rule Death Metal with like all the fucking blast beats and shit. I mean, it was basically Blasturbation, but I love it though. Um. Anyways, so if I were to find the style of this album, it's like if you took like like Deeds of Flesh, but you just made it heavier and more insane. There's way more blast beats. The blast beats are super fucking hard hitting and just pummel you. Uh, the guitarists are super technical. Um, they're basically just a ton of different, like, like a million power chords in one riff played really fast. Which I know that's not the most highbrow thing ever. It's not like fucking crazy like sweeps and shit, but I still love it though. Um, so yeah, and just the drumming is so good. You can actually hear the bass for most of the album, which is really nice. Uh, it actually has a surprisingly clean bass tone. There's a lot of ah, there's a lot of parts in the song where the bass shows, um, just I don't know the bass is relevant in this album, which is pretty cool because that's kind of rare for real death metal, but it doesn't overpower everything. And the vocals are amazing. Matty Way's vocals are his best in Discord. I mean, I like his work in Pathology and Abominable Futurity, but his best shit is in the first two Discord albums. Um, if you don't know, this is actually it's considered a studio album, but it's actually a compilation of their demos. Um, so I thought that's kind of weird. Uh, you can definitely tell that the second half of the album is their first demo, because uh, it sounds like a demo, but the first four songs just sound like an album, to be honest, even though they're a demo. Um, so the production on the first half just sounds like any other Disgorge album, and the second half sounds a lot more raw. Uh, either way, Disgorge is a band that was really raw production anyways. A lot of, like, guitar tone that's, like, really shitty on purpose. It sounds really cool. No mids. Uh, the snare, it's not like a fucking trash can snare, but it's not the greatest snare, but in a good way. It's like a... You know what I mean, if you like Brutal Death Metal. If you don't like Brutal Death Metal, stay the fuck away from this and start with something a little easier. This isn't like, well, it's like, like, Enmity Brutal. It's not as insane as like that, but this is definitely not, I don't know if I'd say this is entry level. Um, I'd say if you're new to Brutal Death Metal, you gotta start with like the classics, like, like the beginner shit, like Suffocation, Deeds of Flesh, Cryptopsy, etc. Um, and this is just a bit, I believe it's like a step up from that. But this is just insane though. I mean, at first when you listen to it, it kind of takes a while because it 
at first it just sounds like kind of random blast beats and shit, and just you can't make out any of the riffs. And the more you listen to it, you figure out the song structures. And then once you start to learn the song structures, it's really cool. Which is one of the things I like about Discord. At first, their songs won't immediately click with you, but the more you listen to them, the more they'll like sound cool to you. Um, the first song, Deranged Epidemic, is so fucking good. Uh, Maddie Way's vocals are just insanely low, like, but without sounding stupid. Like, they aren't, like, gimmicky low, but they're just having to be super low, like, some of the lowest in this style of real death metal. Um, yeah, his vocals are just really fucking kick-ass, and he does these other more slightly higher ones that sound really weird, but kind of unique. And yeah, his vocal style is just really aggressive, and his vocals sound, like, wet. In, like, kind of a work grindy way. I don't know. This is just a really grindy album in general, though. Like I said, it's super fucking fast, and it almost never slows down. Uh, except for the second song, Atonement, actually has some slightly slower parts, that are, and some more mid-paced parts, which is really cool. And it kind of mixes things up a little bit. And that's another one of the best songs. Like, I'd say the first three songs are the best ones, definitely. Yeah, the range is epidemic, but you know what you're in for with the sound. This isn't really an album where you need to listen to the whole thing to understand it. The second you hear the first song, you already kind of know what the rest of the album's gonna be like. And yeah, just tons, you know, tons of fucking blast beats, and it's super hard hitting. If you have a stereo that has a lot of bass, then like, and you crank it up, you literally like feel it in your fucking chest. This album is so fucking hard hitting. Um, Atonement, another great song. Cognitive, ah, cognitive, ah, God, why can't I fucking talk? Cognitive lust and mutilation is a really good song. Uh, it actually has like, a really groovy riff that's like, um, like the rhythm is like a like that. And it's like really catchy, but it's also really fucking fast. And that's just a great song. Uh, Period of Agony is another really good one. Like the first four songs in general all kind of start out the same. Uh, besides Deranged Epidemic, which starts out with just like five or ten seconds of like the vocals. Just doing like a, just a regular low. Which, speaking of the vocals, there's actually almost no lyrics to this album other than, um, Atonement. The rest of the songs don't have any lyrics. It's literally just him making gurgly noises. But also, I don't really mind at all. It's not like you can understand what he's fucking saying, anyways. Because uh, that's obviously not the point of this genre. Uh, so yeah, and then the second half is another demo. Um, Cranial Appellment, really great song. It has some really interesting riff structures with like harmonics and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, Penetrate the Unfledged, another great one. All the rest, Oblation, Carnival Decimated. They're all pretty good songs, but I wouldn't say they stand out as much as the first three on this album. But they're still really great songs. Um, I'd give this about like an 8 out of 10 in general. I'd say She Lay Gutted is a lot better of an album. Even though this one's still really fucking good. She Lay Gutted, like the song structures are way better. As the concept, like the flow of the album, since it's not a demo compilation or at least under the name of an album. Um, and this isn't even advertised as a demo compilation either. Like it doesn't say that's a demo compilation. It's pretty much advertised like an album. It doesn't say like, oh, you know, demos or whatever. But yeah. Um, I don't know, if you if you like Brutal Death Metal, I don't see why you shouldn't like this album. You should know this anyways, because Discord is one of the biggest bands in the genre. Um, but yeah, just super fast shit, really fucking heavy. I don't really know how to explain it, it's just amazing Brutal Death Metal, and um, Discord is one of my favorite Brutal Death Metal bands, definitely. And I really want to give pretty much their entire discography, all four of their albums are really good. Um, but yeah, this one's definitely their second best, and I'd say She Lay Gutted is their second best. Ah, She Lay Gutted is their first best, I meant. This is their second best. And their third, I'd probably say, um, Consume the Forsaken, um, is a really good album. Although they kind of moved away from the just trying super hard to sound super nasty and heavy. And they got a little more techy on the next two albums after She Lay Gutted, but those are still really good albums. And then Parallels of Infinite Torture is probably my least favorite album for them, but it's still a really good album. Overall, they have really great discography. They don't want to get the rest of their shit. Um, if you're new to Discord, I'd say this is actually probably one of the best places to start, though, because it pretty much tells you what their sound is about. Although really any of the realm as well, but I think the first two, especially this one, will show you what Discord is all about, really. I don't know. Yeah, and it's a really short album, too. This is only, like, just over 20 minutes long. And there's also one song that isn't listed on here that's called Verbal. Um, that's literally just, like, a guttural with a ton of fucking, like, reverb on it. And it sounds really funny. Um, yeah, this is definitely well worth the money, and it's really nice to have finally something. Because I've been listening to Discord for a long while now, like, almost a year, but that's why I asked to finally have this in my fucking collection. But yeah, love to sell. So, Discord, Cranial Impelment. Check it out if you haven't. Or at least, if you already like Rural Death Metal, you should know that, like I already said. If you're new to Rural Death Metal, maybe check out some other stuff, and then listen to Discord. But yeah, that's it for this video. So, hope you guys enjoyed.
forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later.